In the span of only three years, OGP has become a global movement of 65 countries and 200 civil society organizations, with numerous supporters from the academia, private sectors, and the youth. We are inspired by the progress this partnership has made when we started this, we didn't know if it was going to work. And I could not be more proud to see the enormous changes that are taking place all around the globe. We are here at the OGP High Level event to mark the third anniversary of the OGP and reaffirm our commitment to support more open and transparent government across the globe. Getting information from government is the right of every citizen. Civil society involvement contributes to all stages of policy making. For too many people, government is something to be feared, precarious and predatory, that uses its power to harass, that cares little about your well-being. The most insidious effect of this experience for people is that it dulls people's aspirations of what government can be. We often expect little of government and get little back in return. The premise of the Open Government Partnership is that we can break this vicious cycle by demonstrating a different kind of governance, where government is transparent about its dealings, genuinely seeks people's ideas, and works with citizens to get things done. I can think of no other global initiative that has achieved such tremendous potential for openness in such a short time. It's clear that our collective aim here today is to use OGP to promote real policy changes that help government serve people better. In that spirit, I'm thrilled to kick off the first annual Open Government Awards Ceremony to honor our 2014 winners. Thank you for the recognition, and I'm accepting this award in behalf of all the citizens, civil society organization partners in the Philippines who invested time, talent, and treasure in this effort. Thank you. And every the success of this initiative to work together for the good and prosperity of our citizens. Thank you. It is really a great, great pleasure and a great honor uh, to be part of this celebration of the third anniversary of the Open Government Partnership. Denmark remains fully committed to openness, transparency and participation. To the government leaders here I say the work of opening up government day in, day out, is done by citizens and civil servants on the ground, most of whom would never ever make it into a room like this. But the success of their work depends critically on you. There is nothing more powerful for a teacher or a community worker or a judge than knowing that her president or prime minister supports her fight for justice. Please remember how important it is to send those signals. Please remember to protect and celebrate their work. And please aim to be more ambitious in the coming year than you are in the last. De todos nosotros, del compromiso de los jefes de Estado y los representantes de la sociedad civil. México asume la presidencia de este proyecto global con gran entusiasmo, consciente del poder positivo de esta alianza para enriquecer nuestra vida democrática. Muchas gracias. I challenge civil society, opt in, seize the space that does exist, 
Use OGP as a platform to make concrete gains on the issues that matter most to citizens. L'alliance entre les gouvernements, et ici euh, vous en avez euh, de toutes sortes, et la société civile est une nécessité. Et c'est ce qui fera que nous pourrons avancer. J'évoquais euh, tout à l'heure l'enjeu du climat. Nous pourrons réussir le rendez-vous de la conférence sur le climat s'il si y a transparence, s'il si y a coordination entre les gouvernements et les sociétés civiles. La France a donc souhaité rejoindre l'initiative ambitieuse qui est votre organisation, l'OGP, nous engager dans son comité directeur. Nous voulons être un partenaire, nous voulons être un acteur, nous voulons coopérer avec vous. The work you're doing here is a steady wave uh, of better government and a steady wave of stronger civil societies. And over time, that means that not only will individual countries be stronger, and not only will the citizens in those countries have greater opportunity and, less, and are less prone to experience injustice, but That translates into a world that is more just and more fair. Uh, and that's the kind of world that I want to leave my children. So uh, congratulations on the good work, but don't, uh, don't let up, as I'm sure you won't because I know some of you. Thank you very much. <laughs>